Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the newer functions added to Excel recently called Text Split. And you can use it to split the data in a cell up into multiple cells to get the component parts. Now, Text Split has been around for about a year now, but it's only been available to people in the Office Insider program. And it's now generally available for anyone with a Microsoft 365 subscription. So if you got an older version of Excel, like Excel 2013 or 2016, sorry, but you won't be able to use this. You'll have to get yourself a subscription, which I strongly recommend. All right, so here I am in Excel. And let's say I got a list of names here, first name, last name. I want to split those so that first name goes in column B, last name goes in column C. Now, yes, under data, there is the text to column feature, and I do have separate videos available on that, but text split is basically that in function format. So we're going to say equals text split and then open parentheses. Where's your text? Right there, A1, comma. And what is your delimiter? What are you using to break up that cell data into multiple bits? Well, in this case, it's just a space character. So I'm going to put that inside of double quotes. So double quote space, double quote, close parentheses, and press enter. And look at that, it created an array basically, right? It put the first name here in B1 and the last name in C1. And now if I auto fill that down, click on B1 where that's, that's where your actual function is. Click there, drag that down, and you can see there you go. Now the only problem with this is if you get another person like Jean-Luc Picard, who actually has three separate names there, if you click and drag it down now, you're going to get your area spilling over into three different columns there. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at another example. I got some addresses here, right? I got the address, city, state, and zip code, and they're separated by commas. All right, so once again, equals text. Now you can just type in text S. And then once you get the text split in there, hit tab, okay? Your text is right there, comma. Now this time our delimiter is a comma. So inside of quotes, put a comma like that, close your parentheses, press enter, and there you go. Come over here, drag this down, and now it's nicely separated out into all four columns there. Now if you look closely, right in front of Buffalo and in front of New York and in front of that, uh, that zip code there, you'll see there are actually some spaces in there. So you could, if you want to, change that delimiter to comma space and then press enter and that will get rid of it. See? Or you could wrap this whole thing inside the trim function if you want to, whichever works better for you. Doesn't matter. And there we go. Okay. Now there are a lot more options and things you can do with text split i'm just scratching the surface right here you can break data between rows and columns you can specify multiple delimiters like if you've got commas and periods for example all kinds of stuff you can do with it so if you'd like to see me cover the text split function in more detail post a comment down below and if you'd like to see more excel videos in general let me know now, I know a lot of my subscribers are Microsoft Access users, as you should be. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the split function in Access VBA. And for the members, we'll create a function to use split in queries as well. So that's coming up soon. But that was your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. So that's it. Want to learn more Excel? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Stop by my website to watch my free Excel Level 1 course. It's over 90 minutes long and it covers all the basics. And if you want me to post more Excel videos, I need to hear from you. About 90% of what I do is Microsoft Access, but I'm also a published Excel author and I love Excel. So if you want to see me post more free Excel videos, post a comment below and let me know. Say, hey, I want more Excel.